then I am not made righteous. I am only made righteous when I accept Jesus Christ, Lord of my life. And I think that's where we have gotten the mistake. We have taken the things that was meant for the unbelievers and we've brought them into the church and we beat our saints over the head with them. And it was never meant for condemnation. It was meant to take it out there for people to understand that through Christ, you can be made righteous. How do you do that? By getting the word in your spirit. And when the word is in your spirit, then when things face you, you can stir that gift up. And the Lord knows what position to take in your life. He knows whether to rest in a bed. He knows whether to prepare a table for strength. Because how many know sometimes I don't need rest in the spirit. Sometimes I need strength in the spirit. Amen. The Lord knows then whether to get on a stool. Because how many in here in the natural can get up out of a stool a lot better than you can get up out of the bed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting out of a stool, boop, I pop right up. Getting out of a bed, you kind of you. What? You might have to dangle a little chocolate chip cookie on me. <laughs> Come on, we can get out of the bed. <laughs> Sometimes the word will sit on a stool if you've prepared it. And he will say, I'm just sitting here resting because I know what tomorrow brings. And as soon as Amika stirs up that gift, I can just pop right up. As soon as the devil comes in like a flood, I can lift up the standard against Amen. 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 So why then? Why then? What is all this about? Why then do we come to church? Why then do we read our Bibles? Why do we come to Bible study? The purpose of all that, if God has made me righteous through the obedience of Christ, the purpose of all that is to retrain my flesh. All right. I'm, I'm speaking slow because I really want you to get this. The purpose, I re- the purpose of me coming to church is not always necessarily for my spirit man because my spirit man is made righteous through the obedience of Christ. Why do I study the word and put the word in me? Because I am retraining my flesh and I'm trying to tell my flesh, flesh, you are no longer in charge. That's right. And God has made me free and has set me free and flesh, you are not going to bind me anymore to whatever the Lord set you free from. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. You understand that when you get saved, God set you free. He made you righteous in Christ. It's our flesh sometimes that will want to rise up and say, Oh, spirit man, you ain't getting authority over me. That's why you get cravings. Whether it be drugs, alcohol, food, right. tiredness. Grouchiness. You can. I can sit here and list all kinds. Irritatedness, because my flesh. That that all comes from my flesh, right? Right. Nobody ever gets really irritated in the spirit. Not really. It's in your flesh, right? And so the purpose of doing all these things is to retrain my my flesh to say I will no longer allow you to pull my spirit back into bondage. I will no longer allow you flesh to condemn me because I have been made righteous through the obedience of Christ. And now I am preparing a room for the word in my life. So that the next time you try to come against me, that word is just going to pop right up. Your mind has to be renewed by the word. Because here's what we do. And I kind of showed you this example last week. If we do something wrong or we say something maybe that's quite not right, here's what we do. Is we begin to feel bad and we begin to feel guilty. And our thinking goes, if I feel bad about this long enough, I will have served my penance myself. Because, I may, let me just use my example. Maybe I say something to Tim as a wife that is hurtful and cutting. And then I go away, and after my emotions calm down, guilt comes up. And if, if I feel sorry and guilty long enough, a couple of days, then I feel, okay, now it's okay to come back. Because now I have condemned myself, I have felt sorry, and, and in a strange way, we have tried to pay penance for whatever we've said or done wrong. But that's not what the Word says. Well, we, you know how you 
slap the devil in the face by when he comes and maybe, maybe you did do something wrong. Maybe you did say slip up and say something that you shouldn't have said. But how we do that is right then we just start lifting our hands and say, God, thank you for the blood. Thank you for your righteousness. Thank you for what you did on Calvary. Satan and, and flesh, you are not going to drag my spirit back down into this bondage because I have been made free in righteousness through the obedience of Christ. It was never through my obedience. You understand? I could take the bylaws and I could, I could follow them word to word, T to T and eye to eye. And I still would not be pure in God's eyes. I only become pure in God's eyes through the blood of Jesus Christ. And we have beat ourselves up and looked for something. I'm pondering whether to say something up here as well. And I have, uh, maybe we shouldn't put this on the tape. But I have found this to be true. And I was mentioning this to Tim as we was driving. I found this to be true. 